Hey what's up everybody I hope you all are doing absolutely fine this is Rudra Ditya and in this video I am going to do the review of Nokia 808 Pure View and this phone was launched in 2012 so after 8 years let's take a look and in this lockdown we can't purchase any new product so why not we will revisit and do the review of such great products like this and in case if you are new here then I would like to tell you that in my recent video in my last video I did a review of Nokia N8 you can also check that after watching this video so without wasting any time let's get started Well first thing first if you talk about the build quality then it feels like a tank in the hand no doubt about that that the build quality is so solid and you can use it very roughly no matter what and also it gives me the confidence that even if I drop this phone on the floor 90% of the time nothing will happen not like today's phone where we always concerned about our glass sandwich design so you will get a plus point from durability point of view as well and one more thing i liked about this phone a lot is that it's super compact you can use this phone with one hand and this phone comes with a 4 inch display so definitely 4 inch is not ideal for today's generation so i guess display size should be between 5.5 to 6 inches not like 6.5 to 7 inches which we are getting right now in 2020 and even in 2019 every phone comes with more than almost every phone comes with more than 6 inches which is huge like 6.5 inch anything more than 6.5 inch is huge you have to use both hands all the time so that's why i like the compact phones and the best example right now is iPhone 11 Pro. Well if we see a quick overview of this phone then on the top right you will get volume rocker then on the middle you will get a locking and unlocking slider same as Nokia N8 by sliding you can lock your phone and also you can unlock your phone and if you slide and hold in this phone then you can on your torch and also by sliding and holding you can off that torch like this. And then on the bottom right you will get a dedicated button for camera app as you can see here by clicking that button you can directly access to the camera app and not only access you can click photos by that button also. So the right side of this phone is same as Nokia N8. And on the top if you see you will get a headphone jack, micro USB cable and also a HDMI port. And on the left side of the phone you will get nothing it's clean and on the bottom you will get a microphone. And talking about the display quality, it has 640 by 360 OLED display which has great color accuracy and definitely you will enjoy watching any content on this phone in terms of quality. And outdoor visibility is also pretty good. And if we talk about the performance and OS, then this was the last Nokia flagship which is running on Symbian OS. Now Symbian OS is dead, we all know. And for if you want to know more about this OS, then you can check out my Nokia N8 review. Well guys if I tell you which SoC this phone has then this phone doesn't use any SoC instead of it has 1.3 GHz single core ARM11 CPU and Broadcom BCM2763 GPU and it has 1400 mAh removable battery. By the way this is not the original battery I changed the battery of this phone but it comes with 1400 mAh removable battery originally. Well I guess you guys are already familiar with this phone so we should not talk about the general things too much but whenever we are doing a revisiting video we should talk about the unique features of that phone or we should talk about for what the phone was famous for and in this case in Nokia 808 Pure View this phone was famous for its camera so let's take a look at their cameras but hey wait a second as I said we should talk about the features unique features also then there is one feature one very cool feature which I like a lot so first let's see that feature. So guys I am going to play a music on this phone as you can see music is coming from this phone only but there is an option of play via radio as you can see and then you can on that feature and when you enable that play via radio feature this phone will work start working as a transmitter and then you can set your frequency whatever you want like uh, 88.10 is set before but now I am going to set at 88.20 and now the frequency is set and uh, now this feature is on and now you can see that 
this phone works as a transmitter and if in your phone there's a app called fm radio which we hardly get in today's phone anyways you have to open fm app and then you have to match the frequency and the great thing about this feature is that you can uh, play this song from multiple devices you just have to match this frequency and whatever song is available in your phone nokia 808 you can listen that song from this phone because this phone is now working as a transmitter so this is a great feature which i like a lot Okay guys, now let's talk about the camera, but first let's see the camera interface which is very interesting in itself and it has various modes and it has pro mode as well. So many features are available like you can um, select modes from here like automatic, close up as you can see then you have portrait mode, you have a sports mode, you have night sort and so many features are available and then you will get xenon flash here which is very powerful in itself. And now guys let's go in settings mode where you will get three automatic scene and creative mode and the creative mode is the most interesting because you can customize everything by your own you can set sensor mode you can set resolution you can set aspect ratio and there are three custom settings as you can see c1 c2 and c3 so you can set all those custom settings according to your own taste and advantage of this is that whenever you go to a certain kind of situation to click photos you don't need to worry about all the settings i mean you have you don't need to adjust all the settings uh, at that situation you simply switch to those modes like c1 c2 and c3 because you already know your settings at particular custom modes so you don't need like you don't want to uh, click 38 megapixel photos all the time maybe you sometimes you want to click 8 megapixels so like in my case i select c1 for 38 megapixel and i select vivid mode for like you know for sceneries kind of picture for daylight pictures and there is nd filter you have to turn on the nd filter then you can shoot uh, in daylight and also in vivid mode i prefer this so it depends on you so this is very handy like creative mode is so good and i will show you the uh, profit of nd filter in my photo sample okay guys now starting with close-up shots the photos are very detailed and crispy and the colors are so accurate background blur is also very nice and all those photos are shot on close-up mode and not only close-up mode every photo are very detailed and very true to color i mean very natural this is the most strong point of this phone and if you want some saturated over dramatic uh, shots then you can sort on vivid mode and some you can change some settings in pro mode for example like this now guys let's see this photo so this is overexposed but at this kind of situation nd filters comes very handy when you turn on the nd filter and click the same photo you will get results like this and then in this type of photo xenon flash comes very handy when you uh, turn on xenon flash you will get photos like this and if we talk about dynamic range then it's not very best especially if we compare from today's phone it's not so good but still we can't complain well if you ask me about this camera then i like this camera for a lot of reasons first it is a true 41 megapixel sensor then it is still the uh, largest sensor size used in any camera smartphone and the sensor size in this phone is f1 by 1.2 which is very good and yes it's 41 megapixel but the outcome is 38.4 megapixel and then the best part of this phone the most strong part of this camera is that it clicks very natural and very detailed photos and i must say that it is still put some uh, today's camera smartphone to the same i mean it can defeat some today's camera smartphone so that is a very good point of this phone and i like the camera of this phone a lot and also this phone is a legendary phone no doubt about that so guys that's it this is my review of nokia 808 pure view if you guys enjoyed this video then definitely hit the like button and share with your friends and if anyone of you guys have ever use this phone nokia 808 pure view then definitely share your experience with me in comment box and also subscribe my channel by hitting that bell icon i will see you very soon in the next one until then bye bye take care